So if you've ever fished somewhere with crayfish in, you'll know what an absolute pain they can be for tangling up your rigs and stealing your baits. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to catch carp, but avoid crayfish. When I first started fishing the lake that you can see behind me, we had quite a lot of problems with crayfish. They were stealing our baits, nibbling them away very quickly. A lot of the anglers on here recommended using plastic baits, fake artificial hook baits. In my tackle box, I've got some examples, some fake sweet corn. You can get buoyant sweet corn, slow sinking sweet corn. The particular type of plastic corn I've got has actually got flavors uh, built into it. Like it's uh, already got smell, smell and scent, smell and scent, smell and flavor built into the, uh, the baits. You can also get dumbbell shaped uh, options as well fake boilies, there's lots of different types of fake baits available. However, sometimes you might really want to use a real boilie. You might be loose feeding boilies uh, around your rig and you want to you know, want to use a, a hook bait that's very similar to what you're loose feeding. Well, in that case, you can use what's called shrink wrap. Shrink wrap is a, it's a bit like shrink tube that you might use on your rigs. It's a type of plastic that shrinks down and, and gets a lot smaller uh, when you uh, apply uh, steam or hot water to it. We've got some just here and what you do with this shrink wrap is you just cut off little sections of it, little slivers uh, base, uh, the, the width of the slivers depends the, on the size of the bait. You pass it around the boilie and then drop your boilie into some hot water or hold it over the steam from, from your kettle. You can do one band around one direction and then if you need to you can put another band on in the opposite direction, creating a, a, a pretty much solid plastic coating around your bait. When we used these on the lake here, we actually managed to keep a boilie on all through the night. Whereas without this plastic uh, shrink wrap, the bait was gone in a matter of hours. One good thing about this particular brand of uh, shrink wrap plastic is that it's actually got quite a lot of little holes in it. And what that means is the boilie can still release the scent and flavors into the water. Uh, and you can also drop these boilies uh, covered in the shrink wrap into a glug or something so they can still absorb plenty of flavor and scent, meaning you're fishing with a, an attractive hook bait rather than just a sealed off ball of plastic. Now, even if you use a plastic hook bait like fake corn or one of these plastic dumbbells or even a shrink wrapped boilie crayfish can still pull the bait stop out the boilie stop out from your rig and steal it i know that sounds crazy but their claws are incredibly um i don't know they're just clever little critters and they manage to pull those bait stops out quite easily and that is where uh, these extender stops come in they're actually designed to lengthen your hair uh, but the, the, the design of them, the shape of them, basically means that the bait stop gets pulled inside your bait. That means that a crayfish isn't able to just pull the bait stop out and steal your hook bait. And by using a combination of the extender stops with the plastic shrink wrap, we've been able to fish boily uh, for prolonged periods of time without the crayfish nibbling them away or stealing them. So now you've got some options for crayfish proof hook baits, what rigs do you want to put them on? Well one thing that we've definitely learned is to avoid supple braided hook links. Something like this supernatural braid is very very supple and what we've found is that if we use this, if we use a rig made of this and cast it into a lake full of crayfish, the crays very quickly tangle it up and make a real mess of the rig. What you really want to use is something like the dark matter coated braid. This stuff uh, has got a plastic coating on it and that means it's stiffer. Less chance of the crayfish being able to meddle with it and tangle it up. An even better option and an even stiffer option for when you're tying up your rigs is the fluorocarbon boom material. The fluorocarbon boom is super stiff. There's no chance of a crayfish doubling that back on itself and tangling, uh, tangling it up. The other advantage, as I'll demonstrate with this stiff hinge rig, is that if a crayfish, or indeed a tench or bream or roach, picks up your uh, pop-up, or, or picks up your rig, as it lets go of it, the rig resets back to where it was. This stiff boom section just kicks the rig away from your lead every time so you can have little fish picking it up pecking it pecking it the, the hook bait and they're not going to tangle it and every time they do pick it up or try to tangle up your hook your, your hook link it just kicks it straight back out again and lands perfectly presented once more a rig like this stiff hinge rig is a, a pretty good option when you're fishing somewhere with crayfish as it's all made of you know stiff components 
and there's nothing really that can go wrong or get tangled by the craze. Now one point of note when you're using pop-up rigs is that putty, and I don't have a clue why, but putty is one of the crayfish's most favourite things to nibble off of your rigs. I have no idea why, I don't even think it's edible, but the putty, any pop-up rig that you use with putty on it will get destroyed by the crayfish if there's lots of them around. So instead of using uh, uh, the putty to weigh down your chod rig or your spinner rig, we will actually take a balancing weight. One of these small balancing weights actually clips on to your uh, swivel. It's got to be a size 11 uh, swivel, I believe. It clips onto that and weighs it down perfectly. There's different weights available so you can balance uh, your pop-ups correctly with those. But once they're pinched on, crayfish aren't stealing them. And uh, yeah, that's a perfect option if you're trying to fish, you know, pop-up rigs and there's crayfish around. One other thing which I haven't mentioned yet is not really rig or tactic based. It's actually a distraction tactic. Uh, a few of my friends actually recommend that you tie a tin of spam to a length of string and chuck it in the margins. Obviously you make some holes in the tin of spam to release and smell and apparently that distracts those uh, crayfish and leaves you to fish your spot without uh, getting bothered by them too much. Whether or not that really works, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let us know uh, what tactics you use to avoid crayfish in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to the Fishing Tutorials channel. See you guys next time. Bye.